कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एंड मेजर इश्यूज ऑफ पंचायत राज पंचायती राज डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर इन इंडिया ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल एज अ फाउंडेशन ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इन ओवरव्यू ऑफ द पंचायती राज सिस्टम द रीजन फॉर सेलिब्रेटिंग पंचायती राज डे ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल इज अ सेवेंटी थर्ड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू विच केम इन टू इफेक्ट ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अप्रैल नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री India is the largest democracy in the world and any country state or institution can be considered genuinely democratic only when there is a proper decentralization of powers the development flow or decentralization takes place from lower level to upper level rather than from upper level to lower level Panchayati Raj was given the status of a separate ministry in the year 2004 to ensure its flow of development in the Panchayati Raj system from the lower level to the upper level the concept of formation and empowerment of Panchayati Raj in India is based on the philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi features of 73rd constitutional amendment act part 9 was added to the constitution by this constitutional amendment act the provisions related to panchayati raj have been discussed under part 9 in the original constitution part 9 contains the provisions relating to panchayati raj up to article 243 and 2430 under the title panchayats the gram sabha can exercise such powers and perform functions at the village level as specified by the state legislature the 11th schedule was added to the constitution by the 73rd constitutional amendment and under this a list of 29 subjects was arranged for panchayats all the seats in the panchayat shall be filled by persons elected by direct election from the constituencies of the panchayat for this every panchayat area shall be divided into territorial constituencies so that the ratio between the population of each constituency and the number of allotted areas is practicable and is the same in all panchayat areas article 243d of the constitution provides the reservation of seats for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes the reservation of seats in each panchayat will be proportion to the population of the area panchayat raj issues for panchayats to raise their funds it is necessary to expand its jurisdiction the interference of mps and mlas of the area in the working of panchayats also affects its performance adversely the 73rd amendment mandated the creation of local self governing bodies it has also left the decision to delegate powers functions and finances to the state legislatures this was the main reason for the failure of panchayati raj institutions the transfer of various government functions such as education health sanitation and water were not mandatory instead the amendment listed the task that could be transferred it was also left to the state legislature to move the functions there has been little devolution of the authority and procedures in the last 26 years because these functions were never transferred state executives have expanded to perform these functions the most common examples include water boards of various states the major failure of the amendment is 
द लैक ऑफ फाइनेंस फॉर द पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन लोकल गवर्नमेंट कैन इंक्रीज देर रेवेन्यू आइदर थ्रू लोकल टैक्सेस और बाय रिसीविंग इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ट्रांसफर्स the power to levy taxes even for subjects under the purview of panchayati raj institutions is to be specifically authorized by the state legislature the 73rd amendment has left it open to state legislatures as an option it also has an option that most states have not exercised another mode of revenue generation is possible through intergovernmental devolution where the state governments transfer a certain percentage of their revenue to the panchayati raj institutions the constitutional amendment made provisions for state finance commissions to recommend revenue sharing between the state and local governments However these are only recommendations and the state governments are not bound to follow them Although finance commissions have advocated for greater devolution of funds at all levels states have taken little action to transfer funds Panchayati Raj institutions are reluctant to take up projects that require any significant financial outlay often they are unable to address even the most basic needs of local administration panchayati raj institutions also suffer from structural deficiencies that is no secretarial support and noticeable build up of technical knowledge restricts the aggregation of bottom up planning at the grassroots level there is lack of schedule and proper structure in gram sabha village committee meetings although women and the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe got representation in panchayati raj institutions through reservation mandated by the 73rd amendment panchpati and proxy representation is still present for women and representatives of scheduled caste scheduled tribe respectively the accountability management is fragile even after 26 years of the constitutional system of panchayati raj institutions the ambiguity in the division of functions and funds promoted the concentration of powers with the states thus preventing them from controlling elected representatives who are more aware and sensitive to grassroots issues